Just I'm speak. Anything until I get 100 attention. Stand up, I'm then. Tell you a story. No, he's going to make Come. an announcement in a bit. Tell you something about me that you don't know. You could never imagine. <laughs> We're not married. <laughs> I have promised. It's to do with Germany. I promise to do a little German lesson with him in, in a minute. And speak but German with him. It is a, the whole thing is about German. When I was about 12 years old, I took the 11 plus to go to the grammar school. And I failed <coughs> the exam. Not once, but twice. <laughs> One of the reasons is because nobody told me that if you, that if I was stuck on uh, 20 questions, I was stuck on the first one. I spent a whole hour trying to solve the Quiz. first one and not trying the others. So I was washed out, failed. <laughs> so I was supposed to be apprentice to a builder. So Six. I'm going to spend my life Six. going up and down ladders with loads of bricks on my shoulder. That was my... Not marrying me. That was going to happen to me. Yeah. There was no work in those days where I, where I did. Well, I got a break. My father, who's in the army, at the end of the war, joined the control commission of Germany. Now, control commission, Germany was in an absolute mess. There were no services, no medicals, nothing. And the British set up a system to help the Germans recover from the war. It was called the control commission of Sit down. I betide you. And in a minute, later on, I will read to you Sit. A little leaflet book which was designed to teach the British Sit. soldiers who were working in the control commission basic German. Right, and I'm going to get him to read it as well. So they had a school there, a grammar, uh, not a grammar school, a boarding school in North Germany which I was sent to. And in this school, we didn't do any, we just did lessons in the morning. And in the afternoon, we did what we wanted to do. We did sailing, shooting, any horse riding. We did whatever we liked. The whole object of the school was to build character and it was the same basis that the Duke of Edinburgh when he went to the school in Scotland called Gordon School and it was on the headmaster of that school in Scotland was our headmaster wow. and it was character so we had a nice life in Germany and I lived there with my father and I learned a lot of German. I spoke German like a German. But my mother came out with my three sisters to join us, and they didn't get on. And in the end, my wife, my mother, left and took the kids back to Essex. I stayed. Now, there came a point of time when my father was made redundant. It was finished. They'd done enough work to help the Germans get back to normality. What I didn't know when I was there is it was amazing. I didn't know they made special arrangements. The army had made arrangements for the British government that anyone, any child like myself who'd been to this boarding school in Germany would be able to go to a grammar school. <laughs> Provided the 
grammar school thought he passed the interview. The bell just went. So I was sitting at home having failed everything. And my mother got a letter from the headmaster of the local grammar school to say I had to have an interview. And when I went up for the interview, I spoke to the headmaster. My mother came with me. And my mother said to the headmaster, I'm afraid Frank can't come to the grammar school. And the headmaster said, why not? Well, she said, we haven't got enough money for the uniform. So the headmaster... This makes me very sad. No. He showed my mother a room full of second hand uniforms. And I went to the grammar school. When I got to the grammar school, I found that most of, my, most of the students, it was co ed, all they did it was, was the chase uniforms. the other girls. But who was the clever man? I realised I had an opportunity mm -hmm. to learn and well, I did twice as much work as anyone else and I did extremely well although I missed the first form and the second form. And one day in the playground a friend of mine said, you know my brother's done very well. <laughs> My brother's done well. He took an exam for the home school service. And I got a job in the hospital. So I thought that sounded quite good. So I applied for a form. And the next thing I know, I'm on a train. I've got a job in the Admiralty in Whitehall as a clerical officer. Can you believe it? I'd never been anywhere in my life. I'd never been further than, I was just a local boy, very ignorant. My mother scraped up four pounds to buy me a suit. And I turned up the door and went into the, into the Michael Park, the sedan, which was a big movable chair, which Nelson was carted around in, into the white old building, Room 101. No, really. And suddenly, I was a clerical officer. Check it, be very much. I can't keep checking. In from oh, room. I didn't. You can. Then Susan called the Belvedere, and so they found me accommodation, and I worked in the Admiralty right, for about year, a year. Right. But. I missed a bit out of here because I had to, because when I went for the interview at the grammar school, I had to pass the interview. I was standing outside of the class, waiting for the interview. The door opened, and I went in, and the class was full up of people. And it was the French class. And the French teacher said to me, well, I'm going to say to him in a minute. Here's a passage in German. Read it to me. And I read it, and I sounded like a German. And that was it. Who did you meet so in that I've motif? got a little. I've got a little. Um, I, I was telling you about the control commission of Germany. This little book. This little book has a, li a little passage. He's going to read it to you in a minute. You got in time? Oral examination yeah. in German. In languages, unless it's changed, you have a written exam at O level and you have an oral exam. They ask you some questions in the language you're being tested for. He's going to do it. I'll read it to him. And then he's going to. <coughs> Who did you meet when you were at the, 
It was his 21st birthday. Lucky I got my headphones for the dog barking. They're both going on. Shush, shush, shush. Come on, right, but he's a, he's a good guy. He's a nice guy. <laughs> Give him a better chair. You're both at it. You met Andrew. All night. Yes, of course I was. Don't bark, get him on bark. Don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you shush, don't, don't bark at Ron, he's a good...